Hey Free Birds, it's Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's video is about schooling Cosmo Magazine. Okay, Cosmo Magazine wrote an article on 30 bananas a day on the Banana Island clans and totally misrepresented it. So it's time to school you folks at Cosmo. Okay, so here is the article. This insane Instagram diet involves eating 30 bananas a day. And we have a hot picture of Fitness Nutrition 48 here with all her luscious bananas in front of her. And the article goes like this, a week-long fad diet that involves eating 30 bananas a day in an effort to lose weight is known as Banana Island. Instagram users, the diet has a reputation of being popular amongst fashion bloggers, calls the diet a trip to Banana Island. Alongside photos displaying extreme weight loss, the odd eating habit first caught on in Asia a few years back, but if search trends uh, any indication, it appears to be back in vogue. Compared to last month, 31% more users are now searching for how many calories in a banana on Yahoo. Bingo, baby. Oh, I Bingo. might take a bit of credit for that one. Bingo. <laughs> All right, so then we move down. One of many mono diets that involve eating only one thing, the whole re regime is severely flawed, not to mention unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit's bad. Fruit's bad. Any kind of diet that mandates eating only one thing is unhealthy. Even if it helps you lose a bit of weight, which is unlikely considering 30 bananas a day, 30 bananas contains more than 3,000 calories, many more than the average young woman needs per day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Says the Cosmo nutritionist. Then they go get smashed at their Christmas parties, fucking two grams of cocaine, <laughs> snorting it up. Yeah. So the plan is restrictive. It lacks nutrients needed to be a healthy person and it encourages an unhealthy relationship towards food, says celebrity nutritionist and registered dietitian Kerry Glassman. When you're on Banana Island and you get sick of eating bananas, which you absolutely will, that's interesting, which you absolutely will. This is from someone who's never done the diet, never done the cleanse, and actually you don't get sick of it. You might end up eating fewer calories and your body needs to function or binging on other foods. This is not a regime. They just said 3,000 calories too much and they say you don't get enough calories. Yeah, I know. It's weird. Hypocrite. This is not a regimen you can stick to long term. It's not meant to be a long term thing, hence banana cleanse, you know, banana island. You know, they said that earlier, a week long fad diet. But then they're like, yeah. But then it says you can't, st you can stick to it long term. It's like um, it's not meant to be stuck to long term. The person is so on the card, they contradict themselves in just a few paragraphs. They have contradicted themselves a lot That's here. Insane. The fad diet uh, started in Japan in 2008 when Glassman recalled banana sales going up 80% one week compared to the same week a, pro a week prior. Oh, sorry, a year prior. Crazy. Fortunately, it's seen, it finally seems to be on the way out. And besides your best bet is to write off this diet as what it is, bananas. <laughs> and look at this gorgeous fueled from earth girl here holding up her bananas. Look how healthy she looks. Like absolute picture of health here. Um, more bananas with spots. So yeah, I'm gonna give you more of my insights on this little article. I'm actually 34 today, 34 years young, and I have a lot of people saying I look around 25, I look younger than my before photos, and I attribute it to potassium, to the bananas. I am getting a huge amount of potassium, and I have done over the past eight years. I've eaten more bananas than any other female on the planet, and I'm only getting positive results from it. Potassium is the youth mineral, okay? So most people don't have enough potassium in their diet. Most of the Western world, like we need a minimum of around 4,800 milligrams per day to truly thrive. And most people are not getting that, they're potassium deficient. So we need more bananas in people's diets. That is for sure. Okay, this whole potassium poisoning rubbish. Okay, potassium poisoning, it is not a problem on this lifestyle. For instance, someone of my size would need about 300 bananas. I have to eat about 300 bananas in 30 seconds to get a lethal dose of potassium. I might be a bit of a chip, chipmunk, I might be a bit of a, like a chimp, a monkey, an ape, whatever, but I cannot eat that many bananas in 30 seconds and no human on the planet can. So that is a non-issue. You don't have to worry about that unless you're in hospital with renal failure, but I'm, I'm talking about 99.9% .9 of the population who needs more potassium, more bananas in their diet. So I, my Banana Island experience, okay, I came to Banana Island, well, I came to this lifestyle back in 2007, and I basically went straight on Banana Island for about three weeks, and I've been on it a few times in the past, 
And it's just been such an amazing experience. I had terrible digestion problems. I had terrible skin. I had a body out of balance. So when I went on Banana Island, it really minimized the amount of energy that had to be used for digestion. Because when you just eat one type of food like fruit, like bananas, then that energy that was going towards usually digesting, you know, complicated foods, meals, all that sort of stuff can go towards healing the body, healing your digestion, healing your skin. So it's an incredibly healing experience. And in the Cosmo article, they kind of like pointed it at it, you know, the banana cleanse as a weight loss diet. It's not about that at all. And when you, you know, educate yourself on what it really is, you'll find out that the banana cleanse is about cleansing, about healing your body. So it's definitely misrepresented there. And, you know, I just want people to understand that, you know, bananas are an extremely healthy, misunderstood fruit. And the whole potassium thing is, it's just so, like the awareness is not there. It's actually a very healthy mineral that you need a lot of. And I want to show you with my blood tests now that you can see that my levels of potassium are great. And like I said, I've been smashing in the bananas over the last eight years. And are you going to get sick of bananas? I saw that in the article. They're like, oh, you're going to get sick of bananas. You know what? I did not get sick of bananas once. I actually wanted more bananas at the end of the cleanse. Because when you're feeling so good and you're getting such fantastic results, the brain and the body like link up. Oh, this fruit is making me feel so good. I want more of it. So you get that positive, you know, association with the bananas. And am I saying do it for the rest of your life? No, I'm not saying do it for the rest of your life. And you're not going to do it for the rest of your life. Just be realistic. You know, it's a great cleanse for a couple of days, for a couple of weeks, even for a couple of months if you want, and you're going to be super healthy after it. It's not too much sugar. Every one of the trillions of cells in your body runs on sugar, runs on glucose, and the fructose from bananas is such a fantastic source. So if you want to get younger, if you want to get younger, smash in the bananas because they really are a major anti-aging food. Don't worry about the, the potassium. And I just ask people to educate themselves first before speaking or before writing these articles. Educate, educate, educate. You know, just because you don't understand something doesn't mean it's wrong. Okay, so do your research. Be informed before you spout nonsense. Okay, Cosmo? Okay, so here we have some benefits of Banana Island. More nutrition becomes available on Banana Island as your absorption increases due to simplicity of mono meal. Mono meals of bananas leave you fully satisfied. The energy that usually goes to digestion can then go to healing the rest of the body. You get a good hit of the youth mineral potassium. We like that, don't we, Jaren Oh, yeah. Helps heal your skin conditions. You'll no longer think about food all day. Your digestion will be excellent if eating bananas ripe and spotty and you're having enough water. Bananas must be ripe and spotty to avoid constipation. And yes, I had 20 bananas before dinner today and I feel amazing. <laughs>